welcome back to Earth from Space. Today, Copernicus Sentinel-2 takes us over Vancouver, the third largest city in Canada. Vancouver lies between the Burrard Inlet to the north, where several ships and vessels can be easily spotted, and the Fraser River Delta to the south. Vancouver has the highest population density in Canada, with over 5,400 people per square kilometer, making it the fifth most densely populated city in North America. In this image captured in July 2019, an unusually large quantity of sediment can be seen gushing from the Fraser River into the Strait of Georgia. The Fraser River is the longest river within British Columbia and flows for over 1,300 kilometers before emptying into the Strait. The annual discharge at its mouth is estimated to be around 3,500 cubic meters per second and is set to discharge around 20 million tons of sediment into the ocean. Vancouver Island dominates the left side of the image. Covering an area of around 31,000 square kilometers, it is the largest island of the Pacific coast of North America. The island is heavily wooded and mountainous, with several peaks of more than 2,000 meters. Marine stratocumulus clouds can be seen over the Strait of Juan de Fuca, which also marks the international boundary between Canada and the United States. These types of cloud formations could be related to the Puget Sound Convergence Zone, a frequent weather phenomena where northwest winds are split by the Olympic Mountains and then reconverge over Puget Sound. Copernicus Sentinel-2 is a two-satellite mission. Each satellite carries a high-resolution camera that images Earth's surface in 13 spectral bands. The mission is mostly used to track changes in the way land is being used and to monitor the health of our vegetation. <laughs> 